ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch. Today we're going to be looking at One Bit Dragon, a very cool uh, music creation program that actually broke one of my two cardinal rules for uh, tool marketing. First off, never have Facebook as your only source of contact. You have, always have a web page. Don't just rely on Facebook. That's a huge mistake. And number two, if you make some kind of a product or a tool, have a demo available. I never covered this on the channel in the past because there was no demo. There is a demo now, and therefore I am covering it. Also on the same topic, uh, it is coming to Steam next week. So if you're interested in checking this one out, it's a very cool program. Now, as I did mention off the hop, this is a music creation program. So that means the standard disclaimers apply. Your ears will probably bleed by the end of this. Although I have to admit, uh, as far as it goes for me, uh, the sounds I make out of One Bit Dragon are actually pretty good. Again, by my standards, I wouldn't call it music, but I wouldn't call it, you know, blood inducing uh, noise. So what we're going to see, uh, you basically have uh, this surface on which to draw. We've got this baseline over here. We're just going to go ahead. We can do an individual note like so or we can actually draw something like that so go ahead we'll play that out Again, by my standards, you gotta admit, that doesn't sound terrible. Now we've got controls over things at the top here. We could control the volume, the scale that we're playing at. So if we wanted to do C minor instead, we could switch that down. Oh, I didn't actually commit. Let's actually switch it to C minor. All right, C minor. Oh, click okay. And same time you can control reverb otherwise you can change the uh, playback rate so let's go up to uh, 270 beats per minute which for most humans is probably a little bit too much but we'll go on back over there and there you go so now what we start doing is start layering notes on top of that so we've got uh, other options here so we could add a new instrument so we've got a synth here and as you can see there are a ton of instruments out of the uh, box so if we wanted to go in here and say uh, let's add us a flute all right so here we go and again there we go so now we have the flute track there so our two tracks are in and so on and so forth. Now if we come down here, we can start adding some drums in. So for example, we wanna add a kick drum. Uh, actually, we'll leave it as it is. We'll go ahead and just start painting the notes. And let's say we wanna do some hand clapping. There we go, and we'll play that now. And you'll also notice if we go back to the notes, in addition to the classic instruments we're looking at, we can also switch over to more of a chiptune sound, and we can switch over to a series of chiptunes. So here we'll do a, a retro synth here, and again. Like so, and at any time you can actually change the instrument out if you wish and get a much different sound. And now let's hear what our sound is like now. All right. I'll admit, I'm starting to get into ear bleed territory, but not quite fully there yet. Uh, now you'll also notice you've got a couple of options that you can do to modify things. So we can do the tools here and we can change the, uh, uh, what is that? Arpegolate, um, different options available there. So we could turn that on, for example. And we'll switch that over to one, two, one. You see a pretty major change there. See if we can still hear after we're done this sample. All right, and there you go. Now at this point in time, you're done your musical masterpiece. If you didn't have the demo version, uh, you can export your results out. Uh, you can either bring them out as MIDI files or you can actually produce them as a wave. You've also got the ability uh, to come in here and actually handle things with a, a live setting that you record out. Uh, I think, is that limited in this particular version? I think it might be, uh, but we can switch. So here, see, so press tab to switch to live mode. So I can go over here and we're gonna have our typical sound as we go but I can manipulate it by this guy and by this guy. So let's go back to the beginning. Yeah, do live 
live modifiers and sound in your end and save that out as a WAV file that you could then use in your game of choice or however you wish. Uh, it's, it's, it's a really cool tool. It's very easy to work with. Uh, you could actually make something that sounds substantially better than what I've just done. But if you actually have a, like a modicum of musical talent, uh, One Bit Dragon really, it's, uh, it's super simple to work with. I would highly recommend checking it out uh, if you need to do some musical creation. And as you saw, uh, you do have the option you can go between classic instruments. Again, can all be exported out as a MIDI file, so you can use this to control uh, another DAW or something. Or over here, you can do your uh, preset 8-bit uh, style chiptune instruments if you're going for that retro game sound. You can do all of it with using just chiptune sounds as well. So that there, ladies and gentlemen, was my hands-on portion of One Bit Dragon. If you're interested in checking it out, their website is available at onebitdragon.com. Uh, as we mentioned off the hop, there is now a demo available. This is on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, you can buy it on itch.io currently, uh, and it is coming to Steam. So right now on itch.io, uh, it appears it's 20 bucks, um, and if we... Head on over here, you'll see the Steam page. Uh, no price yet. There's never a pricing on pre-release, I don't believe. Uh, but I imagine it's going to be comparably priced when it shows up. Uh, it is shipping on March the 18th on Steam. Uh, so that's One Bit Dragon. This is V3, uh, a very cool application for creating. And here you can actually get <laughs> make some very uh, artistic sounding uh um, musical tracks if you so wish but basically you can just sort of draw sound and the results actually come out sounding pretty good so ladies and gentlemen so that is one bit dragon let me know what you think comments down below and i will talk to you all later goodbye